What's up, YouTube? Good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. What's up? It's Farm Boat Crew again. I'm Boosting Bikes. Hope you guys enjoyed last week's video. Well, not last week's, actually two weeks ago. I dropped the last video, I'm not sure. But um, today we're picking back up with the WRX. As I said in the last video, I believe we got a new one. It's actually outside. I'll show you that in a little bit. But um, today I'm going to be getting this thing ready to get the motor pulled out. All we have left to do is get this drivetrain out. And then we can start the process on the new one that's actually right, right over there behind the neon somewhere outside. I got to do a couple things on the neon. I'm actually ordering a... Um, Ordering a clamp, I need to get the exhaust back on. If, if you pay attention to the Instagram, you've probably seen me pulling this car in and out as I have got it running. It's just not running good, but um, it's actually got no exhaust on it, just turbo off. I've been running it and it sounds very loud because I actually broke the specific V-band clamp. Um, if you're familiar with Precision Turbos, they have their own clamp. So I'm waiting for that and then I'm gonna uh, continue the diagnosis, maybe bring it to someone to help me get this thing on the road because here has to make it to, uh, to the track this year, so. Just giving you guys a nice little look here. You can see the turbo is off. Age for a while, I'm sure you remember that two week process. We made a couple videos, you could probably take a look you know, farther back in the channel on YouTube. But, um, yeah, it came out really good, man. Like, I mean, look at it. Now that we're taking it apart, look at how we edged it and stuff. It came out pretty good. I mean, we really didn't know what we were doing. And this is all one piece, as you can see, the whole quarter. But, um, yeah, not too worried about it. It's pretty easy to wrap cars. So, next 04 is going to be orange again. Barnville Pumpkin 2019 is going to be coming for some trophies, hopefully, this year. So let me give you a quick look at the new... Subaru WRX, we got the new 2004. Here's the Evo, a little dirty. I actually didn't take any videos of me snow drifting, but as you can see, there was some mud under the snow. And here it is, guys. Here is our ugly stepchild, whatever you want to call it, Subaru WRX. New to us, definitely not new. It's got a lot of miles on it. But uh, it runs and drives and we got it very cheap and this is exactly what the old one used to look like. So it's going to be transformed into the old orange pumpkin barn built WRX. I'm excited to get this going. Stop the exhaust. It's got this weird paint job. It's got a black roof which is kind of dope. Stay tuned for this. Still ripping apart the crashed one so we got to finish that and then it's right to that guys. And the neon of course is in the mix. And as you can see, we just got a little bit of snow. It's freezing out. It's about 35 today. Let's get to it. And just like that, the engine's out. Okay, so it's about four hours later, YouTube. And uh, we actually did something different with this project. I think I, uh, if you keep up with the page, um, the Instagram page I'm talking about, you notice that we actually have someone else filming with us. It's actually... Nick DeRosiers, that's his YouTube channel. Um, we actually, since I was doing most of the work getting the engine out today, I was by myself, um, he filmed everything on his channel. So a little behind the scenes of us pulling it out with the tractor and um, all that is going to be on his channel. Um, so go check that out on his channel. He's going to be filming with us all summer long and for the rest of the winter, obviously. Um, he's just a local kid that is motivated to come and help around the bar and stuff like that. Check that out, and uh, yeah, so we got the engine out, finally. Like I was saying, all we gotta do now is get that train out, which is gonna be very easy, and I will pick up on that in a few. So I'm probably gonna have to do a little time traveling with this video again. It is gonna be a couple days video. So right now, we're actually doing some little bit of diag on the Neon. As you guys know, I got this thing running again. It's running, but it runs good, and then it dies. Um, so it just leans out and dies. Not exactly sure what's causing that. But as I was looking here, if you look, I don't know if you guys could see, but that little wire right there is actually ripped. This is like a first time I've noticed that. Um, that is just the speed sensor. I'm not sure if that would do anything, but you never know. So I'm gonna look into that. Other than that, I cleaned this all down with some brake clean just to see where I have a little oil leak seeping somewhere and it hasn't started seeping yet. 
But, uh, yeah. I don't know what else I'm going to film tonight because I'm just doing some miscellaneous diag on the neon. I ordered a couple clamps, get the exhaust setup back on. And, um, yeah, I'll probably pick up in probably another uh, 24 hours after I win. Okay, what's up, YouTube? Just like I said, 24 hours later, I went to work. And uh, we are back, engines out, like I showed you guys yesterday, you already saw that. So uh, we're gonna get right to it today, getting this transmission out. Shouldn't be too hard, because we don't have the engine in, so we just really got to uh, get the drive shaft, axles, and uh, a couple other things out. So if you guys watched the last upload, it was actually a little hockey tournament put on by Red Bull and a buddy of ours. Um, so we have an abundance of Red Bull around here. It's pretty sweet. Um, other thing I was talking about, Yesterday, I got these clamps I needed to uh, get the Neon's exhaust bracket back up so it'll have a full exhaust again and I could continue diagging it without it sounding like a uh, real race car. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Friday night, boys. You know, if you're a real race car enthusiast, this is how your Friday nights probably look. So, I got this rear diff cover off so I can get the axle or the drive shaft out. But um, quickly we're going to move to the front and start getting this uh, ISC coil out. You can't really see it. Oh, there you go, Carlo Light. You can see it now. Um, here, there. Hold this. Let me pop it. Okay. First coil over out. And as you can see, there's not really any damage from the accident or anything. Just we are, we got the coilovers out. We are getting the axles out up front. This drive shaft out, four bolts on the diff, and there's like a cover I had to get off. Other than that, we are almost there. Okay. So we got all the shafts out of this thing. Right, so we're doing pretty good tonight. Front axles, drive shaft, front coilovers are out. We got our Red Bull. Like I said, if you watched last video, we got a bunch of free Red Bull. Just about there, the only thing left is actually, I gotta disconnect the shift. Got the tranny out. And just like that, this car is basically nothing. We got nothing left in the engine bay. No engine or tranny, just a burnt harness, nothing inside. Um, it is yet another day with the barn built crew. But we are about to be wrapping up this little video finally. Um, took a couple days to film just because I really wanted to make it one video, you know, the last video with the original Barn Build WRX because today we are pulling it outside. It's stripped down fully and we are preparing to get it towed to the junkyard. So, this thing is fully ripped apart finally. As you guys already watched, just take the engine and the tranny out. Nothing really left at this point. Got the doors right here separate video you guys are going to already have seen by now but One barn built WRX has seen its last day in the barn. We finally got it out. We got the engine out last week, the tranny out last week, the car is out. All I have left to do is take the coilovers out and uh, it will be gone in the next day or two as we move into summer and spring as we got more builds coming. But um, hope you enjoyed the last teardown of that WRX and the rebuild of the next one is coming soon. So stay tuned for that. We got a bunch of other videos in the works. A lot of stuff in the works you guys don't even know about. New car for the dirt bike. Everything. It's ugh, today is such a tease too, guys. Let me just show you before we get out of here. It's about 55 today, February 21st. 55. Hours. 
not going to stay for long. We're all done for today. Like, comment, subscribe, share, show your friends about us. We're coming harder than ever with the videos this year. We will see you next time.